Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Pro Trader webinar series for December 8th. Uh, today we have Fausto Pugliese from Cyber Trading University, and uh, he's going to be trading uh, U.S. equities here uh, and uh, a stock trader. Uh, so we've had him several times in the past here. Um, I do need to go through the risk disclaimer, and I'll go through an introduction here. Uh, the general disclosure. Uh, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only. It should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation demo paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes. Trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. Risk disclosure. Trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss, loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, let's see here. Good morning, Homera. Good morning, David. Um, and uh, let's see, guessing uh, this is irrelevant to ES traders. Uh, yeah, unless uh, Fausto is going to go over some of the um, uh, indexes I, I don't know um, uh, and uh, introduction to Fausto uh, and he's the CEO of uh, Cyber Training University uh, and one of the uh, SOS bandits back in the day uh, in the 1990s uh, and then after semi-retiring as a successful trader in his early 20s Fausto developed his own trading school uh, and um, uh, Fausto was also a 12-time champion uh, of the money show a traders challenge and is known for his live trading events uh, where he gets to prove how well his trading methods work in real time. Uh, and uh, here is Fausto's uh, contact information, okay, his website, Twitter, YouTube, email, and his Bookmap affiliate link. Uh, there's some deals here that you can get uh, from Bookmap from Fausto. They're longer term deals. I also need to let you know that uh, for anyone who's a first time uh, a Bookmap user here, um, there is a special deal for 50% off on Bookmap for just the first month. Uh, we're going to offer this also next week. Uh, but for those of you who are coming to these webinars now and you want to get up and running now with Bookmap, uh, I've got a coupon code for you. Okay, so you can get that deal right now uh, as well. So I'll be putting that into the chat. Um, so um, if, to get to the chat uh, in in Bookmap uh, in GoToWebinar. Uh, on the go to webinar window there uh, click on the view and you should see chat and put a check mark there uh, and you should be good to go um, all right so without further ado let me uh, turn it over to Fausto thanks for sharing that let me just share my screen hold on one second everybody hold on oops wrong screen hold on there we go. All right, so um, welcome everybody. Look, give me a little chat back where we can hear me loud and clear. Good, good to see you all. All right, good to see you, Menorah. Good to see you, Dave. All right, Peter. Looks like we have, anybody here a student of Cyber Train University? Just out of curiosity, just give me a yes or no, or just say student. So I know yes between student and yes. <laughs> David, good to see you. Alan, no. All right, William, good to see you all. All right, good, 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 good. Andre, good to see you all. All right, guys, so um, anyway, Bruce, thanks for having me. And let me tell you something, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna let you know, I've been doing this for 25 years and I do not use any indicators. I do not teach support and resistance. I do not um, use any um, tool other than book map. Now, some of you are probably falling off your chair and be like, wait a minute, I don't get it. You mean like you don't use any indicator? No, listen, I am one of the, like Bruce was just telling you, I am one of the original SOS bandits that started back in the early 90s. And, you know, and I, I helped develop today's ECNs. I helped develop the high frequency trade market. I talk, to, I teach about um, dark pools. Everything that you see what goes on now, I have taught and trained. And uh, hold on a second, let me just take something else here. Uh, just want to see if my webcam's working. All right, there you go. Just want to get the webcam up and running so you guys can see what got going on here. 
always feel always feel it's like more personal when you have your your webcam up and running. So anyway, um, the, what I do teach is basically what makes stocks go up and go down is buyers and sellers. That's it. You can't have a support level unless you have buyers. You can't have resistance levels unless you have sellers. And the book map tool is probably, you know, when, when I was originally introduced this thing, I'm like, are you kidding me? This thing does everything that I was trying to build because I wanted to build something like a book map, but I'm not a programmer. I'm just a trader. And and when and I was first taught this, I mean, I, I tell everybody, so I even told Bruce, I kid around with him. I'm like, do me a favor, don't bother me this garbage. I always see this people come all the time. If it's not Vector Vest, if it's not TC2000, if it's not, and I don't want to bash any other companies because I do a lot of business with them. And when I saw this, I'm like, my God, this is the best thing since sliced bread. This is like teaching it all over again. Now, I'm going to get, I'm going to do a couple of trades. I'm going to show you because today was actually a great day of trading. We were trading a stock. Uh, I'm just going to bring one up right here. I'm going to show you the stock right here that we were trading. And uh, I'm just going to bring up the chart so you guys can see it. So this stock right here was probably, was a great stock that we were trading. CRIS, if I, everyone can see it. This stock had a great pre-market. It started a dollar this morning. It ran to eight dollars for crying out loud it was a great winner it had great book map support resistance levels i'm going to show it to you i'm going to show you how the stock broke out but for me to get into and talk about this to bring up book map right here there we go for me to tell you all the great things oh sorry about that's five serve okay there we go this one right here for me to go in and talk about everything about you know what the book map does and how I utilize it and how I cannot live without this thing, I'm just going to tell you point blank. I used to trade on something called level two. And level two is obviously it's obsolete today. When I got into the industry, okay, I live here in New York, just like Bruce does. This is the financial capital of the world, you know, just as Bruce knows and everybody else knows. Bruce actually used to watch me at the Traders Expos competing against people, but I did not have Bookmap back then. But what I did have is something called NASDAQ Total View. Now, does anybody here know what NASDAQ Total View is? Anybody know what NASDAQ Total View is? The ECNs? I'll show it to you the difference. I'm going to bring them up. Matt Tone, you don't know what it is. David, you don't know what it is. Okay. So... Listen, like I teach a lot of, uh, I do a lot of charity work. I teach a lot of NFL players how to trade today's markets because they blow up their accounts. Um, you know, they don't know finance. Um, I actually also am now starting to teach uh, people in prison because when they come out, uh, it's a charity that I do to help uh, prison reform, to help people understand the financial market so they can get out and they can maybe trade the market, do something. So I do a lot of charity work when it comes to that. And the reason why I bring that up is that, um, I don't know how advanced some of you are. I'm actually going to ask you that question, but a lot, and I also teach a lot of kids how to trade in schools. And the big thing you have to understand is what am I looking at? What is this data? You know what the first thing they always ask me? They said, teach me how to make money. Teach me how to make money. And I'm like, I can't teach you how to make money unless you know what the, what the thing, what you're looking at. What is it actually doing? What is the data you're looking at? Some people don't even know what a stock is. Some people don't even know what the bid and offer is. It's crazy. And sometimes I have to go back to kindergarten and remind myself that some people just don't want to listen to you. They're like, I don't want to hear anything. But I'm like, listen, how do you know what you're looking at? And I'll tell you why I'm bringing this up. And I'm, I'm not, I don't want to waste too much time on it because it all has to do how Bookmap became what it is today and why it's going to be, in my opinion, the most powerful tool in today's in, in today's toolbox of a trader. Um, I'm gonna bring up I'm gonna bring up uh, NASDAQ total view and then we're gonna go into book map. I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you what I, what I mean by this. All right. So let me bring this up over here. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. give me a second. I X out it by accident. Oops. Here we go. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go to Nasdaq's website. Okay. I'm gonna bring up. Um, I'm gonna log in. Oh, great. Wrong password. Would they change it on me? I have my staff that uses it. Hold 
Hold on one second. Let me just get it. Sorry about that. Okay, so the reason why I'm getting to, I'm, I'll get it up and running. I'm just going to get it from my staff. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is this. Um, back then, to be, a, to be, everybody wants to get in the trading business. And it was like, to do it, to buy that data was $10,000. I mean, I'm sorry, $1,000. And we used to call it Instanet. Does anybody know what Instanet machine is? Well, thank you very much, David. I appreciate that. Thank you for saying that. Um, Anybody know what that is? Anybody? Okay. So would you do that? I mean, $1,000. Oh, wait, hold on. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. I just got my password. Okay. There I am. All right. Let me save my password. I'm going to click over here. And I'm going to launch this thing. It's, it's uh, Java-based. It's right there. Now, if you go to... Uh, CTU.co, that's our abbreviation of Cyber Train University. Uh, on our homepage, if you want to get a chance, this is an event we're doing on Thursday. But right here, there's a video. I'm usually a regular, a regular guest on NASDAQ. Uh, if you ever gone to the NASDAQ Center where they ring the bell, I actually, uh, they, they, uh, the, the, the people that host it there were flipping out. When they saw me talking about NASDAQ totally, they begged me, he says, Fausto, you got to come. And you got to teach the people how to trade on NASDAQ Book Viewer because it is so critical because this is how the exchange actually works, right? And if you want to watch that video, they're about nine, they're about nine minutes long. I'm there. I was there like every month talking about it. I haven't been back because obviously with COVID, we've been shut down. And the reason why I'm going into this and not to the book map is I'll tell you why. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, NASDAQ Total View. Now, does anybody know what an ECN is? Say yes or no, an ECN. William, you don't. Okay. User, yes. A couple of M Matone says no. We got a couple of yeses. Phil does. Right. Um, Jason does. Don does. Come on, guys. How many people in here? Almost a over 100. Don't be shy. Yes or no. Okay, good. So for some of you who don't know what it means, it's basically what it means is it's an electronic communication network. I was actually one of the developers uh, and the beta testers because they had to come to day traders, so band is to build this data. So basically it allows you to become a market maker, okay? And an ECN basically is the abbreviation of electronic communication network. So you can actually go out there and post bids and offers. This is the tool that they use. Now, there are roughly about five ECNs out there. There's Archipelago. There's NASDAQ, there's EDGX, there's a few of them. Now, what we're looking at is one book that is on NASDAQ, which is on uh, Bookmap, okay? So Bookmap has, you could have, um, I think there's an EDGX and there's NASDAQ. So you're not just watching one book. You're watching, there's more than, it's, it, it, you're aggregating more than one book that's out there. So we're looking at it, what, what's going on. Now, the thing is this, the way I was trained, and the way I was sold back then, I had to pay a thousand dollars a month. This is 25 years ago. Tell a 22 year old kid, "Hey, you got a thousand dollars? We'll let you, you. You could actually learn how to trade." And you know what's so funny? When I do events today and I ask people that, they're like, "I'm not paying a thousand dollars." I'm like, "That's why. That's why most people fail. You think everything is free. You know, I tell people, listen, if you're looking for a free iPad, a free car, a free uh, iPhone, you're in the wrong business. Okay." I'm not, I'm not here to give away free gifts. And if anyone gives you a free gift, why you need, listen, go out, buy it on your own, right? Um, what, 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 what are you getting for that? Go out there and, and earn it. And you know what? You'll appreciate it more. That's what I was always trained, but you got to spend money to trade. Okay. You, nothing is free in this world. So when you look at the book map, people also look at it. They're like, eh, it's not, it's not cheap. Listen, it's not expensive either. I paid a thousand dollars just to look at one book. Now you're looking at a tool that's not only giving you one book and it's aggregating, but it has a platform that's making it so great, okay? Uh, that shows you how to use the tools and how to, how to, how to use it. Now, I'm going to show you both of them because I'm going to show you how I trade on it. So don't mind me taking a step back and getting a little beginnerish. I'm sorry if I do that. But I always find that there are people who know how to trade, but people just don't understand, like, well, why is it going up? 
what, what, what is it? What, what, what is it? What does that mean? Like, what does that really mean? And I, I almost guarantee that if I gave you guys a test here, and I'm going to invite every one of you to come to my trading room, I'm going to show you how to do it. But I gave everyone a test. I don't care how advanced how you are. I bet 60% of you will fail the test. Okay. If I just ask you beginner questions and to be a good trader, you have to, you have to be what they call, this is how I was also told from my mentor. Anybody watch uh, car racing? Anybody watch car racing? Like uh, Formula One or stock car or anything else? Okay. So to be a good car racer, you got to be a good mechanic, right? You got to understand how the car works. You got to know the functionality. You got to know what an engine is. Some people, like, could you imagine someone, like, ask, ask, anybody have kids? Ask your kids, how does an engine work in a car? So and then you're looking at like, oh, but this kid gets stuck on the street. How the hell is he going to know what's going on? Where's the engine? I bet you they don't even know how to open a damn hood. How about that? Like, I never opened it up before. So, I mean, but you got to know if you want to be very good. Now, driving a car is one thing. Racing is a totally different ball game. So trading is the same thing. So when you look at it, it's not just looking at the tool. You got to look at it. Okay, what exactly is it telling me and why is it telling me that? So I know that I trust it. Okay. So if you remember, a lot of you probably fell off your chair and be like, wait a minute, Fausto, you don't use indicators? Well, I'll tell you why I don't use indicators, because indicators are laggers. And I'm not a lagger, I'm a leader. And I trade with leading tools. And that's what the book map does. It tells me what's going on in the future. I don't care about the past, okay? That is for people that want to sound good, that want to sell some type of you know, different indicator and write a lot of good books. What you want to focus on is the future. OK, and you don't want to focus on a support level and a resistance level because a support level and a resistance levels get broken. And why did it get broken? Because the buyer got out of it and got and lost it. So what I'm going to do is, and, and um, you know, what I usually do just to let you know, as when I start teaching, when I, if you're new to Cybertrain University, I know a lot of you here being, um, you know, David, you're an F1 trader. You're probably looking behind me. I don't know if you noticed behind me, but you see that? We actually sponsored the uh, the Ferrari team, and I was I met Michael Schumacher dozens of times. He's given me so many nice autographs. But um, those were the good old days back then when Formula One was fun. Not, not to get off the subject, but uh, regarding about what we're looking at right here, when I teach a beginner, I start off teaching with NASDAQ Book Viewer because they don't understand the concept of direct access. They don't understand that they could see their order out there, placing an order out there. Book map, I tell them, you know, like I call NASDAQ Book Viewer level three. Uh, I came up with the word on, on book map, I call it level four. So people like, because, you know, it's just an easier thing to think of. So when you think of like level, you think of level two, and level two has been outdated since the 90s, like I talked about, and it's free. So when I tell people, well, there's something called level three, it's kind of easier, kind of like eases into it to kind of understand that there's another level. And then when they hear about level four, they're like, what the hell is level? If this is level three, what the hell is level four? So the book map to me, if anyone ever hears it, I call that my level four, okay? So I'm gonna just gonna bring up, uh, I'm gonna look at this stock right here. I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna go to book map. I'm gonna show you how I use it. And I'm gonna show you some stocks that we traded today, how unbelievable precise and how important it helped us focus on taking profits and taking losses. Because you know, that's the biggest thing most people have a problem with. They don't know how to, um, you know, they, they, they don't worry about the winners. We don't teach people how to make money. We teach you how to stop losing it. And that's what's great about it. So let me get right into it. Sorry if I'm chatting away, but um, let me bring up my platform here. So I'm just going to bring up a stock that we were looking at. Uh, where did you go? There's the book map. There's PowerPoint. Did I X out of it? Oh, here it is. Okay. So here's our platform. And we're going to look at the stock right here, CRIS. Okay. Let me move this over to the side. And I'm going to bring up C-R-I-S here, okay? Now, um, the way you clean this up is this, because right now this is kind of like not what it's supposed to look. I want to aggregate these orders, and I want to customize these. Oh, they're customized. All right, they're fine. Perfect. Okay. So what we're looking at here, because this is going to explain how the book map, how I utilize it. You got the buyers on the left. Hold on. Let me get my crayons out here. Okay. So you got the buyers on the left right here, and you got the sellers on the right, okay? Now, the way NASDAQ works is a negotiated system. So these are your orders, 
This is how many orders are around the world that people are trading CRIS. This is the bid. Whoever wants to buy the stock is up here on top. So you can see that there is a buyer. Uh, there's two orders out there that make up. Let me just pause this because it's, you know, I don't want to keep moving. Okay. Hopefully that worked. Did it pause? Yeah. Okay. So you got the buyers right here. You got the sellers on the right. Whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell their shares for the least amount of money is up here. And then you could just kind of just focus and you can, if you look at the raw data, you could basically see on the shares, which is the most important, what you're looking for is something that um, I came up with this word about 20 years ago after watching the movie Titanic. Actually, the funny part is uh, Bookmap is using the word now. It's called iceberg orders, okay? So we're looking for iceberg orders. An iceberg order is a big block order, a substantial amount of shares, which I kind of say, which is about 10 to 20 times of what the normal orders that are out there. So if you look down here, you could see 11,000, 12,000 versus, you know, it's a big difference than someone buying two, 300, okay? So what we're looking for is big iceberg orders okay so that's what we're looking at now what you're looking at right here on the nasdaq book is just the raw data of what's trading on nasdaq and it's showing you what everyone around the world is trading on nasdaq the problem is you know it moves very fast it's showing you what's out there now it doesn't tell you if the order is getting executed because there are other people always ask me, and it's so funny, if you ever come to join one of my free webinars, people always come up to me and they're like, oh, what about the fake orders? And you know, what about these, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, the flash crash, whatever, all that stuff, uh, or uh, spoofing, you know the word spoofing, you know? So they talk about that, but what you're looking at is the raw data. Now, I used to pay $1,000 a month for this data, and guess what? Back back in two thousand back in nineteen ninety five, I used to pay twenty dollars a for to buy and twenty dollars to sell. Cost me forty dollars a ticket, plus paying a thousand dollars a month. And you know what? I made money back then. And it's so funny. You hear people like complaining, like, "How do you make money?" You know, like, if people can't make money on a free ticket for crying out loud. And I used to pay twenty dollars and pay a thousand dollars for software, and you still came it. You know how, how you know how I did it. Because to be a good trader, also, you have to surround yourself with good traders. So that's another big mistake a lot of people make. They get into trading, they, they, they do it themselves, and you know you got to surround yourself with people that trade just like you. So just a little tip for all of you, if you want to be a successful trader, I don't know how many of you here trade by yourself, but you should be trading people that use Bookmap, okay? It's not just watching and come and join these webinars whenever whenever Bookmap posts them. You got to be engaged. You got to be, you, you know, like the education is is great. It's phenomenal. But you got to play Sunday football, right? You can only watch tape for so long. So you and you got to put your money where your mouth is and you got to learn from those mistakes. So understanding what we're looking at here with level three and then we're going to hop over here with level four. So now now, by the way, we have any questions about this before I move forward. Any questions? A couple of people came in here. I think I have understand. Please show me how you lead the market. Alan, we're going to get to that. Uh, do you know what the this thing really is? Uh, <laughs> uh, has a difference from the dome view. We're going to get to that, Peter. But does anyone have any questions about level three, total view, what we're looking at? Because this data is what's going to make Bookmap work, which is going to help us understand how I utilize the data. Just give me a quick yes or no. Craig, you have no questions? I'm always just trying to just cross my T's and dot my I's because I don't want to be more advanced than some people are. I know not everyone here is a Bookmap subscriber, and I don't think a lot of you, some of you don't even know how the system really is getting its data from. And I think you really need to understand that because then it makes you appreciate why you need the software and why we're using it. And that's why, I'll be honest, I can't trade without it. Okay. All right, good. All right, so no questions. So let me go out there and then let me go back to the Bookmap. Okay, let me change this over here. Okay, so now we're looking at the stock symbol CRIS. By the way, did anybody trade CR CRIS this morning? Yes, uh, John. Question. John has a question. Uh, book uh, is book viewers show the same number of orders on the um is book uh, uh book map show, probably what you're saying book map has shown the same amount on book viewer. 
Yes, but more because it's only showing you. Remember, this is I'm only showing you one book. Um, book map is showing you other ECNs out there. It's showing you NASDAQ. It's also showing you EDGX. It's not showing you ARC and the other ones, but it's showing you more than enough what you really need. Okay. So some of you trade, no one sort. Wow. Okay. So anyway, just to tell you the style of what we do here at CyberTrade University and how I found this stock and why we trade this stock. I'll even, um, I, I just want to bring up my uh, trading room and show you this. Uh, So here's our trading room. Am I playing? Hold on. Okay, there I am. Sorry about that. Uh, erase all. So here's our trading room. And you're know, right here is uh, all our traders uh, just chatting away. You know, here's some of our instructors are in there. And the reason why I'm bringing you this here is I want to click on um, announcements. So you can see right here, we had a pre-market announcement around 7, uh, 7.44. And you can see right here, you see the biggest stock mover up here? I just want to make sure that you guys don't think like, oh, you just found the stock and you're, you're trying to piggyback off it because it's up so big. No, we, we started trading the stock. Uh, those three stocks that are moving this morning. And we start trading at 7.44. And then what happens at 9 a.m., I do a live broadcast, which every one of you are going to be invited to come and join me in this trading room. Um, at the end of this presentation, I'll tell you how you get into it. But you can see here's a couple of stocks that we traded uh, that were going into the afternoon. You can see CRIS was also the top of that list. Now, I'm going to come over here. We're going to bring back the stock, and I'm going to show you how I utilize it. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically go, um, move it out of here. And you can see that book map, the way it works is that it's showing you, and let me bring this back up here. Okay, so Bookmap is showing you these orders that are out there. So what you're looking at right here are these big red orders right here are what are what we call, those are the big block orders. So as you're looking at here on NASDAQ Book Viewer, you're, you know, like here, you, it's only dropping down to 30. I can make it longer, I make 120. But it's showing you um, all these orders out there. Let me let me let me take a step back really quick. Let me just show you what I mean. Um, like you see right here, there's an iceberg order for seven thousand uh, for ninety thousand share at seven dollars. Okay. If I go on Nasdaq and I look at seven, you see right here it says fifty thousand. Everybody see that right there? Right there at seven, and then at uh, and then at six ninety nine is eighteen thousand. So that's sixty eight thousand. So does that make sense? Why is it showing sixty eight thousand, but meanwhile is eighty eight thousand on that uh, on on uh, uh, book map? Because once again, you're only seeing those orders on you know on on Nasdaq. You're not looking at the rest of the street, not look at the other ECN. So that's aggregated. So it's showing you more. So my point is this. The reason why I'm showing you this is that I want you to look at it. People are like, oh, do I need Archipelago? Do I need, um, you know, what's the other ones that people always use? Uh, do I need uh, EIX or do I need uh, BA, BYZZ? You know what? They pretty much are, you know, those are really two most popular ones out there, okay? So you don't need to have every single, it's nice, but you know, you know, that's more than enough. So anyway, getting back to this is that when you're looking at right here is you need to follow the money, okay? You need to follow the money. Now, when I go back to my uh, execution system, once again, no indicators, no, not, not one. What you're seeing is just a typical bar chart. That's it. Now. When you look right here, you could see that you have these big iceberg orders. And you see how you have the green and the red ball? So the green means those are buys, reds are sells. Okay. So as a trader, I'm always looking to find on the book map where are those big block orders? Where where are those orders? 
being prepared. Like right now, we're coming up. Let me zoom in over here. You can see right now that we are getting close to a big iceberg order right around here, around eight at, at uh, 680. You could see he just added to his order. And then you also could see that there's another big order right here, about 80,000, which we just talked about $7. Okay. Now, when I go over here on this chart, I'm bringing this chart over here, and I click on seven. You could see right around here, right around was at 940, seven was the resistance levels. And it didn't and it had a tough time breaking it. It came from seven and dropped all the way back down close to about you know 625. Now that's a big hit. Okay. Here you are, you trade the stock, you you bought the stock at five, the stock within less than 10 minutes, you're up at seven, you count your chickens, you're like, I'm so excited, but you have one problem. You didn't know that there was a big order out there, okay? But you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just just for just for for giggles. Uh, I made a moving average, a stochastic, an RSI, a Bollinger Band. Can't forget Mr. Bollinger. How about a MACD? You guys read MACDs? We'll throw that in there. All right. So when you throw all that stuff together and you look at this, <laughs> watch the book map for crying. What the hell is this telling me? I know some of you probably can answer that, but by the time I figure that out, I'm going to miss this big iceberg order right here. I would just rather just look at this guy that's right there from seven. That's about it. And you could see it right there at seven. You know, when I go back, you could see him right there. He was, uh, he was there, got hit, came back, you know, got hit. But it finally broke it. Now, my question to you is this. How do we know if that seller got executed? Can anyone answer that question? How do we know that it's not a, a, you know, a fake order or a cancel? How do we know that? Let's see if you guys can answer that question. Just look at the answer. Time and sales. Could everybody write T? And S in here, please. Write T and S. Time and sales. So I don't know about you, but this get me dizzy. I can't look at this anymore. Uh, Fausto still default. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to my normal chart. Oops. That's not normal. That's even worse. What the hell happened? Hold on. Hold on one second. Something happened here. Let me just share something else. Hold on one second. I X'd out of it by accident. I'm not the. Hold on one second. Uh, where am I? There I am. Oh, okay. I'm back. There we go. Okay. So. Surprised that you're, uh, you don't appreciate the spaghetti on your screen, Jason is saying. You know what, Jason, at the end of the day, I mean, you just got to remember, they're just lag. Listen, I don't want to knock indicators because I know there's some really good people that do like it and they'll look at me like, what are you talking about? It does work for investing because, you know, you have time, you got to think about it. It does work for swing trading, but it does not work for day trading. See, I'm a day trader. Uh, I like to sleep at night. I do swing trading. First of all, I don't even know how you swing trade if you know what happens over the course of the day. But I like to day trade. I just focus on making my days pay. Um, you know, the stock CRIS, I have no idea what it does. I don't know why it's up. I honestly really don't care. Okay. And I wouldn't be here right now um, if I didn't trade this morning and made my days pay. Okay. So that's why a lot of people like day trading. It's a very part time job. You just make your days pay and that's it. But anyway, getting back to the CRIS. When you look at it, um, it's all about seeing if those orders get executed and seeing if those iceberg orders get executed. Now, I'm going to bring up another stock. I want to bring up another stock that we traded, which also is actually a really crazy moving stock. Uh, what was it? It was, oh, Fiserv. Okay. So this one is awesome. Okay. I'm going to bring this one up. You see this, you see this right here, Fiserv? Now, does everybody know, anybody know what the story about Fiserv is? 
No, I don't, Philip. I do not use fibs. No, I don't. Absolutely not. I follow the money. That's it. I, I'm not an analyst. I don't pretend to be. Uh, technical analysis, paralysis, that's it. Okay. Peter, yes, it's the vaccine. Okay. So I've been watching um, the this uh, Pfizer all day. Okay. Whatever's in the news, that's what I like to trade. I like to trade things that have action, that has volume, that has movement. Okay. So here you're looking at Pfizer. They got the vaccine. They're doing great. It's a cheap stock. It's like Mandora. You know, you're not trading $180 stock. But if you look right here, the stock started this morning and it ran up and it hit a it hit an iceberg order at $42. Okay. Why did it go down at 42? Because there was a huge seller out there. It's not because Mr. Bolger Band said it, because there was a seller out there. End the conversation. Okay. You can sip on, oh, they got the vaccine. They got the I don't care what you think. I don't care. Listen, my analysts, my my, my mentors, Frank Farrell, I'll never forget, he always told me on the second day on the job, he says, Fausto, if you think you know something about the stock market, you better walk out the door because you're gonna lose all our money because you're trading our money. He says, you follow that guy, whatever he does, you do. So I'm, that's what basically what I preach. So it was a big seller out there, right around there, around, uh, around uh, what was that, Nine, uh, 940, hit $40, came right back down to 41, uh, 4150. I mean, think about it. how many times have you bought a stock and you get so ticked off when you're trading, like, why did the thing go down? I mean, every, everything looked like a perfect storm. It was going up, it was great, and I lose money. How does that even happen? Well, easily. That seller was there, he was selling it, like it or not, unless you're gonna take him out, it's done. Now, that at that time was about, what was that, 60,000 shares, okay? Okay, so I want you to look at this number right here. Very important. That was 60,000 shares at 940. Now watch when I'm gonna blow this up so you see a little bit bigger. So as I move over, look over there where it says the ask. Did everybody see that? It says what? We went from 40, 50, 380, 400, 400,000 shares are looking to be sold at 42. Do you want to own a stock? There's 400,000 shares sitting at 42. I don't think so. Okay. Guess what? It gets even worse. Okay. So the guy goes in there, he's in, he's out. And it's not even 400,000. If I zoom in, it's, it's, it's between a, a 4197 and 42. So that's why those colors are a little bit thicker. You could see the big guys in the middle. So it was literally when you got over here, there was literally over 700,000 shares looking to be sold, okay? Why in the world would you even want to buy, own a stock with 700,000 shares on the offer, okay? That is a beyond iceberg order. Now, what happened? Stocks have 42.25. Fausto, I don't understand. There was a big seller out there. Oh, you didn't think someone could buy that share? You don't think someone could execute? You didn't think someone could cancel the order? Okay. My eyes were on that share. And let me tell you something. If I wasn't teaching this class, if I was just, you know, doing this event, I probably would have bought, I would have definitely bought that stock. So this is what we call a breakout. Okay. A breakout means that there was a big seller, it hit resistance, and it basically executed the guy. Now, I'm going to ask this question again. How do we know that seller got executed? How do we know that that seller got executed? Or he, listen, he could cancel it too, by the way. How do we know? Time in sales. Very good. This is the window right here. Uh, this window right here. Time in sales. Green means transactions on the ask. Red means transactions on a bid. Yellow means trades going over over the uh, over the ask. Purple means they're below the bid. So there you go. I mean, the stock is obviously trading a lot of shares and it's moving pretty quickly. Um, some platforms you could you could uh, customize the time and sales to kind of show you every single order. I kind of like you know I I have like two different time and sales. One that shows thousands. One shows hundreds. Obviously, the thousands actually is a little more controllable, but it's this window right there that the chart gets its data from. 
So when you want to know how a chart moves, it gets you from time and sales. So by seeing that and seeing that seller out there, when he was sitting there at 42, and then you're looking at that time in sales and you're seeing, you know, green, 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 green. And you start seeing right here that 42, because this is what I do. I watch that number getting hit, getting hit, getting hit, getting hit. And I'm like, holy crap, somebody just bought 50,000. And that number keeps dropping. What do you think is going to happen? Okay. So why would you even question the stock? But don't come back and tell me, oh, it's going up because they have the vaccine. Okay. I, I get it. You know, you have a, you know, you have a story behind it, but it's all about trading because Pfizer, Cruise, CGIX, Chewy, Tesla, they all trade exactly the same. The reason why I like this one the best is because this was like the most obvious one. Okay. And I'm glad. I mean, when you look at this stock, right, look how predominant of an iceberg there are. And when I look at CRIS, does it look as clean? You got some support and resistance levels, but you could see it like it's not as obvious as this one. You understand? So that's why when you trade today's, when you use the book map, when I use it, I always go out. And by the way, the stock is breaking out anyway. By the way, is, is there any other sellers out there? You got you got one seller, not nothing great. You got one seller here that at 183 at 42. What is that? 42.50. So if I had a game plan, I probably a game plan would be that's where I'd be selling it. By the way, let me teach you a little trick. Don't ever, 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 ever sell stocks that end in zeros and fives because that's the dumbest, you know, you know, uh, image, uh, not immature, but uh, ignorant, uneducated trader would ever do because they don't know any better. Everyone else is out there selling it at. Let me bring it up. Can I get it? Can I get that number? That guy's probably out there selling it at 4250. It's only showing you by doubles. Yeah, you see? There we go. See that? Teach you a little lesson. You cut the line by 180,000 points if you just went just a penny below that. Duh. I didn't even know that. You ever, you ever go to the store and you see, oh, 799? That's what you just always remember. Faust always taught me. Always think about buying something in the store, 799, 899, because you just cut the line by 164,000 points. Because remember, that guy was there before you, so you're last on the list. You just cut the line by 163,000 points. Uh, could you also look at uh, Palmer? Yes. Okay. We'll look at Palmer. We've been trading that stock, uh, Milton. And um, the problem with that stock, it's pretty damn volatile. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. All right. So let me bring it up for you. PLTR. So PLTR. So what do you want to know about it, Milton? What is what? It, what is your question? Neo also we've been trading has been a very uh, active stock. Okay, what do you want to know about the liquidity? There's 67,000 shares being traded. It's got great liquidity. Okay, it's not one of these stocks only trading with like you know under a million shares. Great liquidity. Now, if you want me to look at and tell you what my game plan is, the most important thing I have to ask you is this: Are you day trading it or are you swing trading it? Okay, are you day trading or swing trading? You're day trading it. Okay. So does that mean you own the stock right now while we speak? Or, you know, or you're out of it? Because all these things are relative. Okay, good. So you're out of it. All right, good. So I'm going to bring it up. And, you know, obviously the data's got to laid up. Uh, it has to load up on it. Uh, no, you can't, actually. I don't think so, uh, Jeff. But no. So looking at it right here. You could see that the uh, PLTR took a very big hit, you know, in a way when it hit uh, when they hit right around here, 29.50. You could see the order was out there, and he never got executed. And then not only that, the guy added to his order, and he's still out there. I mean, it's nothing substantial. It's only 22,000. It's not like we saw the 700,000 in Pfizer. But PLTR, you could see the guys out there. And then what happens, just give you a little heads up, to something that's pretty normal. You see how the you see how the darkness dwindles down. 
what I, my assumption of that is because maybe the guy says, you know what? The stock's already down here at 2750, 2950 is out of the money. Let me lower my offer. He probably dropped down and added down here to 29 fit, 20, 29. That's why that color is getting thinner. And you can see how it gets darker down here. Um, maybe somebody else came in there and put it out there. But you can see right here when we're looking at it, there's a, you see that green ball? The guy just got executed. There was a little bit of an iceberg order out here. The guy just got executed. So I just want to let you know what makes the stock go, what's going to prevent the stock from going higher is the next iceberg order out there. So if you were looking at this stock right here, I would probably project, I would not, I would sell it at 29, between 29.95 to 29.99. Don't go out there at 29. You can see all the amateurs and the people that don't know how to trade already got their dumb orders out there. And remember, you want to cut that line. That penny is not going to change your life, okay? But you want to get it, you want to get out before that. All right. Uh, any other questions? Those, the COB are the actual orders that are out there. Those are the actual orders that are out there. Uh, the one next to it tells you, you know, if those orders got executed, uh, basically it just tells you the colors between the reds and the greens. All right. As in, you know, as it expands with the orders that are out there. All right. Now, any other questions? I'm going to, I'm going to bring up a chart because we're almost done here. All right. And uh, I can't believe where time goes. So I just let you know what, what I do as a day trader and what do I teach my trades. And by the way, it's just not me here at Cyber Trade University. We've got several instructors. We, got a, we have a, a big corporate office here on Long Island, New York. Uh, we take customer service very, very seriously because I actually, the way I was trained and what I do, it's not, I don't teach people how to trade. I'm looking, I teach people how to trade with me. Remember, trading really just covers expenses. Um, I'm looking, what I do is when I train my traders, I make them part of my group and we trade together as a team. So the way our style of trading here at Cyber Trade University is I don't care what I trade. I just want to trade something that's going to give me the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. Um, I try to see, I try to stick with le less expensive stocks because you're dealing with less experienced market makers on the street because I know them because they live all my town. Um, less less capital so you don't need a lot of money to do it and um they actually move the best too so i go through the top gainers i find the stock you could see cris this was taken this morning you know um stock was up 560 i mean you can look at the stock i really so it, was, it went to almost you know almost hit eight and the game plan of trading is just just follow the money you follow the trend know where the strengths are where the big orders are looking at the book map seeing where those icebergs are, having a game plan at, at all times and working with my traders. So we all know that when we make money together, we do it together. When we lose together, at least we're losing and everyone minimize it because we all know, hey, if we're all getting out. That means everybody else is getting out. But when you look at this stock, it's all about having the platform set up properly. You know, and if you're new to this, I know it has a lot more bells and whistles. I don't want to get into great detail about it, but you know, if you keep it simple and you understand how it's working, like how I explained where it gets its data from, by it's getting its data and it's showing you, you're having that, you know, th that you're seeing those orders and you're seeing if they're getting executed. By knowing if those orders are getting executed, it's also going to give you that game plan to say, oh, look, big guy just came out here at 560, you know, and seeing if it's going to, you know, that guy's going to get executed and knowing he gets executed, that's why the stock goes up to seven. And you can see the orders are going there. Because remember, traders are always looking to take a profit. You're always trying to make money. You don't ever go out there and try to hit home runs. You just try to get base hits, but you got to have a game plan. And the book map, the way I use it, is looking for those iceberg orders when they popped up there and seeing if they're getting hit or not. That's all it is. Remember, it's not, it's not a... Um, it's a, it's it's a software. It's not a tool. I think Bryce says, uh, Bruce says that all the time. It's not an indicator. Okay, that's why I like it. It's a software. It's like your execution. It's not you know it's a software. But having and knowing where those game plans are, I just want to reiterate and seeing those orders get executed. This is how you have a game plan. Guy gets executed. Guess what? It's going to test the next guy. Breaks out. It's going to go to the next guy. Hits that guy. Boom. It's going to go to the next guy. 
So you always know where, and you could see the stock moves in 50 cent intervals. You always need to know where those orders are. All right. So um, with that said, I'm going to, I'm going to answer a couple of questions, but before we do that, just to let you know, um, traders, I've been doing this for many years. I love what I do, but I hate seeing people lose money. Um, I've been showcased on some of the biggest brokerage firms. We're endorsed by the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. We've been endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry because, believe me, they look and they see what we do. They watch our traders. But the thing is, they don't want to lose you. I know that I, um, I just uh, basically made a connection with TradeStation with Bookmap. Um, you're going to be able to use the Bookmap platform on the TradeStation. So it's awesome. It, it basically has a plugin, so it does that. So you don't always need to have the platform to run. You can run it on separate platforms. I know they're also working with Thinkorswim also. So anyway, this is what I like to do. Um, I know we have a lot of day traders here. Um, I know we have a lot of students here. I want to invite you guys all to come and see me use it live in the real market conditions. Uh, I only have X amount of time to kind of show you. I can't teach you how to make a lot of money as trading. I could only teach you enough to be dangerous. But if you want to come, you know, please come join my room. I'll give you the link, and you know, you could see these traders. You can see how we use Bookmap. Uh, I want you to. I want to invite you for a week. Um, I don't know if you know this, but the Bookmap works in pre-market. It works great in, in pre-market. I do most of my trades in, in in the pre-market. So when I'm out there, you can see what we're looking at on how we use that platform and how we buy it and sell it and how we use it in today's today's trading. Um, I don't really ask for a lot of money. I'm not looking to make money on anybody. Um, all I'm asking is that if you're really interested, we only ask for a application fee of $9. I'll give you the link. If you just want to come in and just sample it, come in for the week, see what we do. Um, I'll give you, you'll be able to talk to our staff. Um, you'll be able to talk to me personally. You'll be able to, and I'm talking over the phone, I'm not talking in a chat. Uh, I'll give you a, a, a crash course on how I use Bookmap in more detail and also on a day trading. And like I said, it's only for $9. It only just tells me if you're a real person or not. I'm looking for serious traders. And I'll post that link for you. Now, I got a couple of minutes. Does anyone have any questions, you know, about what I talked about? I'm sorry I keep talking, but I'm almost out of breath, actually. Uh, any questions? Uh, can you buy lifetime Dex feed? I mean, I guess that's questions for Bruce. Uh, the link uh, to actually register for it? Absolutely. Let me get it for you. CTU.co. I'm um, going to click on our trading trial, day trading trial right here. So all you got to do is just click on this link right there. All right. There we go. We got that out of the way. Uh, any other questions? Any other questions? So when you want to start, you could just start, you know, start on Monday. I usually start right away. I mean, it's only you know, Tuesday, start tomorrow, try to get in there, get in the trading room. Listen, if you're using it right now, why not use it? And you know what? If you're not using it, the book map yet, and you're still not sold on it, I get it. Why don't you watch professionals, how we use it every day? And then you'll see how important it is. Let me just tell you something. If you're somebody that is looking for free stuff and like, I don't understand what's the difference. Like if you just don't get it, then I get it. That means you don't get trading and you shouldn't be trading. And please, I tell everybody, don't mind. Sometimes I'm very brash for my traders, but I'm only doing it because I hate to see people lose money. I've been doing this for years. I've trained hundreds of thousands of people. There are several schools out there that are my students, you know, that are out there and we're very excited. And hopefully you could be one, but you're going to need to know that to use this platform, you have to trade with people and you got to learn how to trade, how to use it. And you know, without it, it just makes it more makes it more difficult. So stop, you know, per, you know, um, worrying about what happened in the past. Start buying a platform and using it to help you for the future. And a lot of people didn't know. They're like, "Wow, there's something out there." Yeah, it's staring you right in the face. So use it. A couple of questions: Is it only stocks and futures that you trade? I only personally trade stocks. Okay, I'm not. I know Bookmap's got some great futures traders in here. Uh, that use it and they're sold on it. Actually, I believe it or not, I was shocked. I didn't even know. I thought this was only data was only on NAS, on on the Nasdaq uh, on the stock market. But if you're a futures trader, great. By the way, I also want to point out that if you are a futures trader, I tell everybody this: if you're not making money within 30 to 60 days, it's okay to try something different. 
I mean, we all know what's going on with COVID. We're stuck at our homes, right? Uh, why not? Anybody, and you want to make this work? There's no job that pays you as much money as in the trading business. But if you're doing something and you don't see it's really working out, that's okay. Just come back and, you know, try something different. The worst thing that can happen, you might like it. Well, David, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I just, I just, lo I just love what I do. I love, I love making money. And I love teaching people how to, I love changing people's lives, you know, and not even their lives, but even their health. You know, I, I teach a lot of people that just, just keeps them going, you know, mentally, uh, physically, um, you know, and, you know, financially. So, but you got to do it right or don't do it at all. So with that said, everybody, thank you for having me, Bruce. I know you live in New York, not too far, me, brother. So you please make sure to take care of yourself. Um, I know we're going through a really tough time right now. So everybody, there's no better place than being in a webinar, trading with people that enjoy what you're doing. So don't worry about it, about the stimulus check. I tell everyone, you can keep that stimulus check. Give it to somebody else that really needs it, okay? We do great just in trading. But to be a good trader, you have to surround yourself with good traders. You need to know how to speak the language. So go out there, take a couple of events with certain people. I know Bruce has some great presenters here. Sample a little bit of everybody's stuff, see what you what you adapt to, try it out. But I'm just telling you right now, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna have to go all in. You know, trading is a lot of work and it's also not cheap, okay? But it's not expensive. It's not like paying seventy thousand dollars go to college. My like my son going to my son's going to Delaware and you believe he's he's doing webinar classes. He's paying the same amount of money, you know, on a webinar than going in class. Would you believe it? So anyway. At least it's cheaper than that. But anyway, thank you very much for having me. Guys, be safe. And hopefully I get to see you all in our trading room. And then uh, and enjoy the video. And also, uh, if you want to watch the webinar, I know it's being recorded. You can watch it again. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.